The lip, ancient e staining. A sagittal section through the lip, stained with a routine histological staining method, hematoxylin and eosin. The lip is a fold of the mouth wall, covered with skin on the outside and with oral mucosa on the inside. Between them, there are bundles of muscle fibers that make up the orbicularis oris muscle. The outer part of the lip is made of hairy skin, which comprises a fairly thin epidermis, i.e. stratified keratinizing squamous epithelium, and underlying dermis with hair, sebaceous glands, and sweat glands. The subcutaneous tissue, abundant in adipocytes, is the most internally located layer. The middle part of the lip is occupied by the orbicularis oris muscle, which is a skeletal striated muscle. Under high magnification, isotropic and anisotropic bands of muscle fibers, as well as peripherally located cell nuclei, are visible. Due to the presence of a skeletal muscle, which is a voluntary muscle, the lips are involved in sucking, introducing liquids and solid food into the oral cavity, chewing food, speaking, and in the case of nasal obstruction, breathing. The inner part of the lip is made of oral mucosa, covered with a thick stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium. The cell nuclei in the top epithelial layer can be seen under high magnification, which indicates that these are viable cells. Under the epithelium, there is loose connective tissue proper, the so-called lamina propria of the mucosa. Labial, mixed, and mucoceras glands are found here. Multiple secretory sections are visible, both brightly stained mucus elements and dark serous ones. We can also observe secretory sections reaching the mucosal surface. The vermilion border, which is a thin stratified squamous keratinizing epithelium devoid of a granular layer, is found between the outer and inner parts of the lip. Here, Blood vessels appear through the skin of the lips, which leads to their notable red color. Since salivary glands are lacking in the vermilion zone, the lips must be continuously moistened with saliva.